Alright guys, so we're here with Steven Chan and Hello. his GTR. Uh, Steve, when did you start tracking this thing? I got this car in uh, 2015, in July. Uh, back then I was not bone stock. I didn't even know what I wanted to do with it. I just knew it's a great car. So I decided, you know, it's, it's been my dream car. I wanted it for a long time, so I finally got it in 2015. And uh, once I started driving it around, I realized that this car is built for the track. I actually didn't like to drive, drive it on the streets at all, you know, even it's pretty comfortable and, you know, has good features and stuff, but I felt like the car was not meant for the street. It was meant for the track. So I kind of started to bring it to the track more. And I remember I started first at uh, Fontana, uh, the infield course, which is a short course. But um, I remember when it first started, I didn't realize that the GTR didn't like 91 gas. <laughs> so I... The car went into this sort of lit mode without me realizing. I was like, why the heck the car is so slow? Is it me? Then finally I realized, oh, it needed a 93 gas or 93 two. So that's kind of how it all started, you know, with little hiccups here and there. You know, like everybody else, you can, you're the fastest guy out there, but it turns out you're nowhere even close. So it was a long journey. Yeah, so uh, back, was it November of 2015? I, I started. I met you at Chukwala and... I think it was in uh, 16, early, like, like Mar February or March. Yeah, maybe yeah. it was March, yeah, March of 16. I was out at the uh, Nissan Challenge event at Chukwala and I saw Steve out there with his completely bone stock yep. 2015 GTR and... I he remember uh, your friend introduced you to me and said, I'm going to get my ass kicked. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> You were right on my ass in a 240. Yeah, we, we ran pretty close to the same time. Pretty close to the same time, but... To be fair, Chukwala is not a horsepower track, so... Okay, thank you. You weren't doing too bad, but... Yeah, so I, I drove the car then, and uh, that was actually the first time I drove a 2015 spec. Mm -hmm. And we kind of realized from then that the suspension was pretty soft. Yeah. So... I'm glad you told me. Yeah, from that point, uh, I think the modding went a little crazy. Why don't you tell us a little bit about... Uh, sure, what was, mods the car um, has? I think I remember at Chakwala I already upgraded the brakes because the, I pretty much cooked up the stock brakes already and then I went with this four piston, uh, four piston system it's actually a race caliper it, it's actually smaller than stock but it takes heat much better yeah much better thermal capacity yeah, with, exactly the with pads are way thicker the disc is smaller but thicker so the thermal capacity like I said it's way higher way higher so I never yeah. had any problem with it after that so Huge. that was my first thing yeah, huge improvement. Uh, that that was one of the best, the best mods for this car. This car comes with pretty big brakes from the factory, but man, these these things uh, they just handle the heat so much better. Yeah, they may not look as nice, but they do their job it's much yeah. better. Yeah, and you can actually run uh, a lot more wheels, right? Because mm -hmm. the the sizing is better for for yeah, wheels. So I actually got some 18 inches for track days. You know, it's uh, just more cost effective, and I can, like you said, get more tire out. Still the stock rear calipers, just a pad and rotor upgrade for that? The pad and rotors have been upgraded too to the Grand Road Type 3s, which, is, which has a better bite. But from what I've been told, uh, the GTR has more of a front bias to uh, the car, so the rear isn't that important. So I've got a better up front caliper. Yeah, we, we worked a little bit on that recently actually. Yes, um, we've been trying different pads. And w what kind of uh, arrow? Then later on, I've got an Aero Motion 3-inch lift. It's uh, it's not bad. It's not a huge lift, but it does help a bit. Kind of balances out the uh, the rear wing. Exactly. It's, it's got nothing some major, but it helps out. And the Voltex yeah. canards. Canards, yes. Yeah. And then the big Voltex. This is the Type 4. I believe it's uh, 1,800 millimeter wide. Yeah, really nice piece. We actually turned it up a little bit today. Cool, now we're, uh, we talked a little bit about the aero and the brakes. What about the engine? The engine, uh, it's full bone on, so it has an uh, intake, it has injectors, it has fuel pump, and most importantly, it's running E85, which makes quite a bit more horsepower. Big difference there. Yeah, big, big difference. Probably 630 to the wheel, I believe. Okay. So it's a humongous difference. Yeah. I think on the same track, I did like two or three seconds improvement just from power. Just from power, just from wow. Power yeah, that's crazy. And suspension is SPL and JRZ? Uh, yeah, all the arms and links are SPL now. I believe that's every arm I can replace. Uh, all the 
compare my old uh, knuckles, everything. Okay. It's SPL now, and it's running GRZ RS Pro two ways. We worked a little bit on the GRZs with the damping settings and the spring rates. We changed those a little bit, but yeah. I think we got it working pretty well now. Yeah, it feels pretty good now. At first, when I got it, the spring rate was pretty close to OEM. So it felt better, but I never felt it was a significant improvement. But like Steven said, we were working on a spring race. Once we found a good spring race, I think the whole car just yeah, the whole, together right away. Yeah, the whole package kind of came together at yeah, that point. So. Exactly. so Yeah, Cusco cage and, and some bread seats. And a little bit about yourself. We've been working together coaching for yes, about a year now. Yes, about a year now. I, I do feel like I, I, I made an improvement myself, but it definitely took a little while. Because I feel like it's an old habit. You're gonna break an old habit yeah. sometimes. It's pretty hard to break. And I think it took me a probably four, four times with you. I think I said, at least four get, get out of those bad habits. Yeah, I'm sure it's still there. The bad <laughs> habits, but at least it's on top of my mind. Wait, now. yeah, much. I know, I know which one is a bad habit, which one is a good one. Exactly. Habit. You know when you do it, you're like, oh, yeah, I shouldn't I, be I doing do that. Wrong, I know it right away. Like, <laughs> oh, why am I doing this again? But at least I realize it now. Yeah. So it's just like any other bad habits. It's pretty hard to get rid of. Yeah. But more and, practice. Yeah, and shout out for uh, breaking the record in Global Time Attack a couple weeks ago and, yeah, and winning first. Yeah, that was a pretty, pretty awesome event. You know, I went to Streets of Willow, it was my first time doing uh, clockwise. I only did it counterclockwise, so I'm not sure if that really helped much. But I, I, once I did the clockwise, I felt like it was totally different tracks. Than me. Yeah, totally it, different. It was, it was really different, really hard, I felt like, especially two corners. But um, I was still able to pull through and you know, set a good record there. Did a little bit of mobile coaching there, tried to help yep. you out the best I could, but mm -hmm. yeah, it, it, it all helped. It definitely still, helped. still all came down to you driving, man. So yeah. that that's awesome. It's been uh, a pleasure to see the progress throughout the the last year, and glad to see you uh, have some success and some bigger stages. But yeah, N Nissan Challenge has been uh, an awesome program for it you. Is. Basically, what was that? Your second track day or something when we met? That was probably my second or third, like I said. I just a, just a couple know. in, I don't and really know what I was doing. Go, goes from that to winning Global Time Attack, so yep. pretty awesome stuff. But yep. I look forward to continuing the challenge and GT. Awesome, man. Well, thanks for sharing your car, and uh, I'll throw a hot lap in in the video to uh, show the guys what it can do. But yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thanks.